So as you might remember from back in July, Hillary Rodham Clinton, the uh, probably the most deceitful, most pompous person ever to have walked the face of American politics, went onto The Daily Show and said that there was almost conviction, as if she could stare directly into the future, that Donald Trump was not going to concede in the 2020 election, you know, because she can predict the future. She can tell what's going to happen, at least in her uh, ignorance, and in Trevor Noah's ignorance, for that matter. But now, and this is where the true hypocrisy comes in, now she's telling Joseph R. Biden Jr. that he, he should not um, concede the election under any circumstances. And, you know, given the fact that this is Hillary Clinton we're talking about, Democrats are probably probably going to listen to her advice. Back in 2016, I think it's pretty safe to say that uh, Hillary Clinton ran a master class on, not, on how not to run, uh, run a presidential campaign and how not to win an election because she did everything wrong. And that is in part the reason why that she's not present today. The other reason is, too, is because she's just a dishonest liar, right, who, who probably should be in jail along with her husband. So Donald Trump needs to expose the fact, if I was him, if I was Donald Trump, I would need to keep on pushing the fact that Joe Biden is nothing more than a puppet. He is a Trojan horse for the radical left in America today. He is he is working on behalf of AOC, the Squad, and Congresswoman Pelosi, and I and one has to suspect for Hillary as well. You know, Hillary has been on a four year, um, pretty much so like a bitterness campaign to kind of explain away, you know, the reason why Donald Trump is president and not her. It has nothing to do, and as we know, with the uh, spying on. The gov- by the uh, Trump administration, by the Obama presidency, and by the fact that the United that uh, there there w- is no proof that Russia in any way influenced the election, we know that they can only the only thing that Democrats can do is make up for excuses as to why they can't seem to win races. But guess what? If I was Democrats, I would continue what I'm doing because clearly. They're not getting the message that at some point Americans are going to judge them objectively. They're not going to say that they're the default party of the people anymore who can just explain away their problems on outside actors. The fact of the matter is is that if they have any hope of winning, they ought to, if any political party has hope of winning, they have to not just blame others for their problems. Joe Biden is repeating the same mistakes that Hillary made, which as far as I'm concerned, great, because Joe Biden would be the worst president in modern American history if we gave him the chance to be elected. So I don't think you need to tell who I'm going to be voting for in the 2020 election. Clearly, American Bonaparte supports the re-election, the full re-election of Donald J. Trump for president of the United States of America. Because Donald J. Trump has created America over again. He has destroyed the status quo, and he's going to build a new one. And we need to continue to continue the rebuilding of a new status quo, one of perpetual change, of destroying the powers that be, of government, of the financial system, of, of the NGOs that want to open the borders to and destroy the civic virtue of America. That is, their, that is the goal of the left and of the globalist. And Donald Trump is going to make sure that that's not going to happen. So I need you to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and get out on and vote on November 7th because your country needs you. I need you, and the future of the world needs you. Thank you.